Hi, welcome to Movie Review Mom. I'm the mom and I do the movie reviews and sometimes trailer reactions. But today, the movie I'm reviewing is called The Ice Road. This chilly thriller is now available on Netflix. It's rated PG-13 and it's an hour and 49 minutes. All right, so in a nutshell, I confess that I am a Liam Neeson fan. I also readily admit that this is a pretty silly movie, but I still liked it because Liam Neeson is in it. <laughs> this is the synopsis of the story. After a remote diamond mine collapses in far Northern Canada, a big rig ice road driver must lead an impossible rescue mission over a frozen ocean to save the trapped miners. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> So let me tell you about some of the things I liked about the movie. First of all, I laughed when I thought that the aging Liam Neeson would be comfortably and conveniently seated in a truck during the entire movie. But he actually has a lot of stunts and does what he does best, kick bad guy butt. He's great at playing the everyday man with a heart and a certain set of skills. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen Benjamin Walker in anything since Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter. So it was good to see him again, and he did a good job. Amber Mid-Thunder plays Tantu or Tantu and was actually in Liam Neeson's most recent film called The Marksman. I don't know if you ever saw that also on Netflix and also not the greatest movie ever, but I still liked it because it had Liam Neeson in it. Anyway, she played in that movie, the gas station attendant who gave him the roadmap for free, but I didn't recognize her at all. In fact, I wondered who she was and how she got cast for this role. I'll talk about that more in just a minute. The movie was filmed in Manitoba, Canada, and I never knew that ice roads over the water were a thing. So that's amazing and yikes. I thought it was funny when each of the truck drivers actually placed like a little bobblehead on their dashboard. And then I learned that those little toys actually serve a very serious function for these ice road truck drivers. I always love it when movies show the Aurora Borealis in the sky. And so as they're going up into Canada, you see that and seeing the Northern Lights has been on my bucket list forever. And I was going to go to Iceland with my husband a couple of years ago, right around when the pandemic started. So we had to cancel it. Anyway, we are scheduled to go again this next fall or not again for the first time this fall. So we will see Fingers crossed that I get to actually do that. All right, so let me tell you about some of the things I didn't like. First, I thought that the movie would be much better because it had Lawrence Fishborn in it. So, and it's not, and he's not even in it very long, which was also disappointing. But so what is it with Hollywood actors showing up in terrible movies? You know that they're gonna be a box office draw because they're big name actors. And then it's so disappointing when the movie turns out to just be a dud. I've seen that happen several times now, particularly with Bruce Willis. All right, and speaking of casting, did you know Marcus Thomas, who plays Gertie in the movie, Liam Neeson's younger brother, was born in Belgium? That's cool, and I hadn't seen him perform in anything before. Unfortunately, he doesn't really know how to pick the best scripts. All but two of his movies have terrible scores on Rotten Tomatoes. Some of the acting in the movie is really bad by secondary characters. So I don't know anything really about ice road truckers or mining, but even I recognized that the way that they portrayed those industries was probably inaccurate. And the worst casting I thought, sadly, was Amber Mid Thunder. I couldn't understand a single word she said during the entire movie. She spoke super fast and slurred her words so much that it was just annoying and then became laughable. Just terrible casting. Plus, she's not really that great of an actress. There are some sad and bad CGI moments with obvious green shoots, but I'm actually fascinated with green screens. And so I'm including some green screen pictures of how they shot certain things here in this 
movie review because I do think it's super interesting. The movie itself is very predictable. The script is pretty bad with completely unrealistic scenes that literally defy the rules of physics. There's some awkward dialogue. And my husband and I laughed out loud many times because the movie is just not good. Still, laughing together is always time well spent, and we are both Liam Neeson fans. Unfortunately, this movie will be instantly forgettable. Now, let me give you some tips for parents. There is some violence, people in very perilous situations, some people die, lots of destruction and crazy stuff going on. Themes are corruption, greed, power, money, also family, courage, hope, and trust. So normally when I watch movies, I write down the funny lines and the interesting lines so that I can share them with you so that you get a taste of the movie. And when I looked back at my notes, I just wrote down this one stupid line that kind of gives you an idea of some of the really lame dialogue and the kind of how the movie is. So Tantu, played by Amber Midthunder, says, you'll know when I'm hungry. It's very unattractive. And then Benjamin Walker's character says, oh, you get cranky? And she says, worse, I act white. <laughs> That's just a really bad line. All right, so even though I love Liam Neeson, ultimately the movie review mom grade I'm giving this is a C minus. But wait, let me give you some recommendations for a couple of other recent Liam Neeson movies that I thought were pretty good, at least better than this one. The first one is The Marksman, which I had just mentioned prior. It's not a big, huge, complicated plot, but it just highlights Liam Neeson doing what he does. Just that everyday man who's a good guy trying to do what's right. Although there are, there's a couple of cringeworthy moments in that movie. You'll have to watch my review of that one. And then another one that recently came out on Netflix is called Honest Thief. And I enjoyed that one too. And again, neither one of these are gonna win awards, but they're really just kind of for fans or for people who want to Netflix and chill. All right, that's it for my movie review. I hope that if you watch this movie, that you get a kick out of it. Even if you're laughing because it's so silly, that you'll enjoy it. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Thank you for subscribing and be sure and click on that little bell. It'll notify you every time I upload a new movie review, which lately has been every single day. You don't want to miss a thing. Thank you also for supporting me over on Patreon and be sure and join my Facebook group called Movie Review Mom. And you can also find me on Instagram as Movie Review Mom or my name, Trina Boyce. You can subscribe to both of those. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye for now.